Hello, hello, and welcome back to the world of Melvor. I'm just frying up some swordfish right now. I really like how in these games you uh, end up taking on a number of totally aesthetically different, totally uh, um, kind of like a different lifestyle, a different persona. Right now I'm like a gourmet chef, you know, serving up these delicious swordfish steaks that restore a whopping 130 health. Um, but earlier today I was like a, a mad alchemist somehow infusing uh, the essence of the body into mere stone. Um, I'm a farmer often, I'm a miner, I'm a thief, I'm a magician. Um, just all these different little personas that your character slips into wholeheartedly uh, for as long as, uh, you know, the task requires. But lately, since our last update, I've been doing something a lot edgier. <laughs> and, uh, and I think really indulging in just how edgy all of this stuff sounds is uh, quite a lot of fun. So I decided to start on the amulet grind. As you can see, we have succeeded. Um, at first, I was trying to combine this with Slayer, which is the edgiest skill by far. Um, trying to uh, roll until I got an, uh, a monster that could drop amulets. Um, I had a little directory of them here in our gigantic Notepad++ Melvor Idol Notes Tome. Um, but I realized that overall my Slayer points were sometimes going up, but like kind of wobbling, sometimes going down. Um, and I don't know, maybe I would have made progress on it, because eventually I need to get like 800,000 Slayer points for these guys. Um, but it didn't quite seem worth, I think it's better to just focus on Slayer exclusively at some point. Um, but yeah, I was tearing them up mostly with my Twin Exiles, which is probably the edgiest weapon name in the entire game. Um, I think that's the best for killing low-level monsters. It's got the fastest attack speed of anything I saw while still having like a really high uh, damage output. So most of the monsters I was fighting were low enough level that I think that was the best route. The only exception was when I was fighting the Seething Horn Deletes to get these Amulets of Fury. I switched to the Glacia God Sword um, because it has the guaranteed attack. And my hit rate on those things is like still fairly low. I think it's only like 64% or something. So it seemed like a good move. Anyways, uh, we finally grinded it out. It took a while. We, we kind of overdid it on the, the strength ammies. Um, that was like an overnighting, an unnecessary overnighting. Um, but the rest of them we, we managed to uh, kind of hit pretty much on the nose. Um, a long, long grind relative to a lot of the other things I've been doing. Um, but a satisfying one, and the, the item that we're going to end up getting is hands down the edgiest in the entire game. So uh, let's put them together. I'm pretty excited for this. This is uh, a super, super endgame item. We're going to upgrade all of our strength amis. Oh, we can't upgrade all? We have to do them one at a time, huh? I'm going to upgrade them all because then we can alp the other ones. And it's going to be uh, a lot more money than just selling these individually. Okay, so we have six elite amulets of strength. Nice. That'll help for a decent amount. We can upgrade our amulet of magic. I already had one. Um, I can't remember from what. I think maybe from a, a chest, one of the god dungeon chests. So we only needed one more can upgrade to an elite amulet of glory. Pretty cool, cool color scheme. You know, the purple and gold, kind of like that. The, the stats for these kind of seem to be all over the place. Some give damage reduction and some don't. And I, I don't see any like rhyme or reason for why some do and some don't. Like the elite amulet of defense, which you think would bolster your defensive stats, does not. But then the Elite Amulet of Magic, which to me is, you know, much less defense-oriented because it already does a bunch of other stuff, does give you damage reduction. So I don't get it. And Glory, which I thought was kind of like an overall-y kind of thing, does give some defense, but no damage reduction. So I don't know. Whatever. Then we'll get our Amulet Accuracy, which also has damage reduction. I don't know. It's fine. It will be nice to have more... Um, 
options for, or rather, I don't really think I'm going to use any of these. I didn't plan to. This has just 1% damage reduction? I, I just don't get it. But yeah, I think the the final super, super endgame one is going to have uh, only 2%. Oh, I, was gonna, I was hoping that it would have even more. But these stats are kind of nuts all over the place. So this is definitely going to be our best in slot for uh, Fighter Chan, for whoever we're sending out into the dungeons at the time. Okay, pretty cool. Let's hit it. This is the biggest upgrade, I think, in all of Melvor. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Let's put it right in the middle. Dang. Sells for a million gold, which I think is kind of a ripoff. <laughs> um, I think if you add up the costs of all of the things we combined, it's it's much more than a million. But you're certainly not making them to sell. Uh, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, let's equip that to number two, who is currently our, our melee fighting build. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't really have that much else to do right now. We can alk the rest of our uh, super amulets, our elite amulets. We have a bunch of strength ones. Uh, you. That's a decent amount of cash. We might see 285 million. Um, I, I kind of don't really see the need to have like redundant type things, because I think instead of switching between uh, weapon classes, for now at least, it's fine to just have one and uh, just send it into, and just like reconfigure it for each dungeon. Um, so I, I don't see the point in keeping anything else besides the Fury of the Elemental Zodiacs. Which again, <laughs> can you imagine a more crazy, edgy, over-the-top Chunibyo name? I absolutely love it. So excited to get this. Uh, so let's take a look at our items log, which is still at only 94. That's okay. We filled in these, which means that now we have full item completion all the way down to the Herblore zone. Um, so that's pretty cool. Oh, I remembered the other thing I wanted to do. <laughs> this is so stupid. Okay, we need to make some copper. Some tin. <laughs> uh, I'm so happy someone pointed this out to me because I was like so confused. Like, what is this other crossbow? What is this crossbow that I'm missing? Is it some super rare dungeon drop? Is it some crazy upgrade thing that I don't even have the base ingredients for? No, it's just the friggin' bronze javelin. <laughs> I just never made a bronze javelin. I have no idea how. We made bronze javelin heads. Oops, we have to make bronze bars first. We made bronze javelin heads, but we didn't make bronze javelins for some reason. <laughs> so, I don't know. Kind of silly, but whatever. It's another item. Easy one to get. Should, uh, should be happy. Okay. Then we go into fletching. Make a bronze javelin, finally. Nice. Good. Good. Nice. Oh, we got 20 of them. I guess we got both the potion proc and our skill cape. It's pretty nice. Okay, we can sell all this stuff. Uh, bu 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 so yeah, I'm kind of thinking now that I'm going to leave the final dungeon items for later. Um, try to take care of some other stuff first, just because it's kind of, I don't know, it feels more climactic. Feels more like end gamey type stuff, raiding those dungeons. Um, it, it seems like a kind of a big step down in excitement to do like, ah, uh, yeah, I killed uh, Malk or whatever the guy's name is. No, that's the other dragon. Um, I killed Ragnar and Ares and Glacia like three thousand times each, and and now I'm gonna go kill a million sweaty monsters to get amulets of accuracy. Like that doesn't sound like a great heroic progression to me. Um, so I'm gonna take a break from dungeons and uh, knock out a few other little grinds. The amulet grind went pretty well. Where is my Fury of the Elemental Zodiacs? There it is. Oh yeah. So still some mystery items around here. These might be god dungeon items, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, we're, we're doing pretty well on our item grind. So the next big one, of course, is Herblore. 
as you probably guessed. That's what these swordfish are for. That's why I've got a bunch of crabs. Oops, we can cook some more swordfish. That's why I have these body runes. I have, again, a little checklist for myself. These are the ones that we already have all four levels, either by actually grinding them out for mastery or because we uh, got lucky with the, the herblore potion. Um, and the plan is to try to really bank on the herblore potion and not have enough, of course, to get to max mastery for all of these, but to have enough that statistically we ought to get all four levels from the herblore potion drops. So, yeah, we got our crab, we got our swordfish. Got body runes, got to get some of these combat drops, probably some more eyeballs. It's kind of hard to know how much to collect because, like, the herbs, like, overlap between potions. So you'd have to do a lot of math. I'm not going to do any math. I'm just going to, at some point, say, eh, I've got enough. And then uh, I'll make a video about that. I don't know if it'll be a very interesting video because uh, I have no idea how long this is going to take or how successful we're going to be. Um... What the heck is this potion? Is there really a potion I haven't made any of? Yeah, maybe. Anyways, we're going to try to get all of these settled. Um, and then that will be friggin' amazing. We'll, once we take care of Herblore, we'll have all item completion all the way down into Signet Ring half A and complete Signet Ring. These ones. These ones are going to haunt us forever. I just cannot get Signet Ring half A, and I don't get why. I have the Gold Topaz Ring. My understanding is that the drop rate is proportional to the skill level required to do your task. So cooking swordfish, eh, I think that's like fairly low level, but I cook like hella whales, and I fish for hella whales. I overnighted whale fishing last night. I still can't get this friggin' Signet Ring half. So I don't know if there's something I'm missing. Eh, I don't know, but we'll get it eventually. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for now. Not a whole lot to share in this video, but uh, a big accomplishment. Finishing off that omelet grind. Cracking a few eggs for it. Oh, yeah. All right, see you, uh, see you whenever I'm ready for Herblore fun. Bye-bye for now.